right, this is day 16, Scott Johnson with Grace Empowered Living, all about helping you to experience the power of the gospel over a 30-day period. And I want to encourage you to pick up a brand new book called The Transformed Life Journal, where you can interact with many of the truths and things that we're, we're sharing here with you today. So definitely, you want to get a hold of that journal. It's going to be a, a huge, huge blessing for you. Uh, it's uh, the link is below on this video. Definitely pick pick it up. It will indeed indeed be a blessing and help you experience the power of the gospel over the next 30 days. So we're just taking our time here, going each day through the series and sharing with you some of the truths that we uh, that I share in this book. I know that um, you will definitely want to make comments here if uh, on the Facebook. If you're not able to pick up a copy of this book, use the book, use Facebook or your uh, YouTube comments to share what you're learning, what you're experiencing, and other people will be blessed by it as well. So today we're day uh, number 16. Our phrase for today is accepted by God, accepted by God. Let's read out of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6. It says, for it was always in his perfect plan to adopt us. <laughs> wow. As his delighted children. It's always his plan. It's his delighted children through our union with Jesus, the anointed one. So that his tremendous love that cascades over us would glorify his grace. For the same love he has for the beloved Jesus, he has for us. And this unfolding plan brings him great pleasure. Wow, that's out of the mirror translation. And it's so powerful. I mean, when you understand the love of God and what he has for you, and you have, uh, you know, so often we have this elusive uh, attitude toward God and, you know, how can this being love me? And, you know, we look to those relationships around us for that, that the love to fill the very uh, part of our life that only he can fill because it's unconditional. You know, people people can say they love you, but, you know, once you know, things around them change and uh, they're down or whatever, uh, something happens in that relationship, uh, the love does not stay the same as it once was. And God's love is constant. God's love is unconditional. God says, I love you no matter what. Even in your sin, I love you. Even when you're making mistakes, I love you. Even in, when you feel in, you're in shame or feelings of guilt, I still love you. And that love is constant. It doesn't appear one day and disappear another day. It's constant. So here, this passage, it literally is saying that this is it was always his perfect plan was to reach out to you as an individual and adopt you as his own child. And he did it through our union with Jesus. Isn't that great? Let's read the reflection for the day. You are complete. You are complete. It says you stand before your father completely accepted by him. There's no greater joy than this. The end result is trust that he is always, always, always working on your behalf. While others spend their lives seeking love and acceptance, you stand before your peers complete. Think about that. You seek nothing but now have everything mirrored through you is every answer humanity is looking for. Wow. Every answer. This goes back to lesson, I think, 13. We talked about you've been reconciled to God. Now, be ye, it says, be ye reconciled, and he's made us now ministers of reconciliation so so our life mirrors the very life of christ to others around us because we stand complete in him we stand before our peers loved and accepted 
This makes you a very powerful, powerful person and gives you the ability to be ministering and encouraging others around you. Wow, what a, what a, what a lesson. Uh, the passage I read here in our lesson today, and you can't see it on the screen, but it, it's Hebrews 11, 6, and I'll just read it to you. It says, for, it says, but without faith, it's impossible. For he, uh, to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. This kind of echoes uh, our previous uh, day, I had the same passage, but it speaks to the truth that we must embrace this as truth. We must step into it in faith in order to begin to experience it on a personal level. Amen. So with that, I hope this was, today's was a, a great lesson for you, encouraged you and ministered to your life. So I want to encourage you to pick up a copy of the book. Uh, it is a, uh, a link is below here. Uh, get one for a friend. If you're not able to right now financially, you know, make a comment here on the Facebook or in your YouTube video and uh, about what spoke to you in today's lesson. And I know others will be blessed as well. So uh, with that, this was indeed day number 16. Tomorrow will be on day number 17. And I can't wait to see you then. God bless you. Bye for now.